you know, it's funny when you when you read these <laughs> when you read these articles, it's like nobody hates women more than women. Women are just fickle creatures. And this is an article coming out of Slate. It goes on to say, I'm a little bummed that they'll lost weight. It says, yes, I know it's not it's not about me, but it's not about Adele either. This is an article from October 15, 2021 by Shannon, uh, by Shannon Palace. And it goes on to state, it says, Adele is skinny, skinny now. She's been skinny for a while. It says, first in an Instagram post uh, last year and then while hosting uh, Saturday Night Live. This week, we got Skinny Adele in a music video ahead of the release of her album, 30. It says, many, many media outlets and random internet comment, uh, commenters have celebrated Adele for becoming skinny. This has been met with a very specific form of backlash, which goes something like, Adele is a mega talent whose music is worth blasting on repeat no matter her no matter the singer's size. Plus stop treating this as an accomplishment. The backlash is correct. And yet, even as I know that celebra- celebrating Adele's weight loss is wrong, I'm struggling with something different, which is a feeling which, uh, which is feeling a little upset about it. Which is weird. After all, Adele is an adult human woman and I'm a feminist, right? So this woman, as as she uh, she goes on to state, uh, she can do whatever she wants, right? That's the feminist motto, as she can do whatever she wants. Wrote Katie Storino. So who is Katie Storino? Now it says that she's an influencer, right? In quotes, and the author of a body talk on her Instagram post, talking about Adele's slim down, um, adding the hashtag weight. Is it news now in America? Why weight is news is because 40 percent, 40 percent of women in the Americas are morbidly obese. Yes, morbidly obese. So in the Americas and of course, in Europe as well, Europe shares very similar weight management problems as we do, where 80 percent of the American population is overweight. And 40% of the American population is morbidly obese. And so for Adele to look like this, to lose weight, this puts Adele in the top 20% of women. So if you're a muscular man, well, then you stick out because only 20% of men in America uh, are in shape. 80% of them are out of shape and considered overweight. Now, it's funny because when it comes to Things of obesity talks about why why are people with obesity more vulnerable to COVID? And so we basically had a pandemic that killed fat people. And the number one killer in America is cardiac disease, which is often uh, related to obviously what you take into your body. Primarily those who are obese, diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, etc., Now, when it comes to women, now I actually wanted to talk about this. Who is Katie Storino? So what does Katie Storino look like? You can see her right here. These are her pictures. She would be what is considered plus size. So women's ego is so fragile that we need to, we can't call them fat. We can't say you're overweight. Men can be called overweight, but women, we have to call them plus sized. And, And this was an article that came out not too long ago about why Plus sized women admit they're not really attracted to overweight men. See, men, we bear the connotation, the negative connotation of you're too fat, you're overweight, you need to lose weight. But the women, you're plus size, just a little more added to you. It's more, what do they say? More pushing for the cushion, more cushion for the pushing, as they say. But when it comes to men, men bear the burden of responsibility, right? Men have to bear the burden of performance. Now, when it comes to Adele, on the other hand, because Adele now is being lauded for uh, her weight loss, a lot of these fatties are having a hard time celebrating a lot right along with her. Why? Because then they'd have to admit that themselves that if she can do it, well, then why can't I? And it's, most of these individuals are just happy being fat and out of shape and want to be celebrated for their lack of willing to put in the work to stay in shape. And it goes on to state, it says, uh, the public seems unable to receive it with any sort of neutrality. We should be, you know, we shouldn't worry about what she looks like. 
as it goes on to state, this is back when Skinny Adele first surfaced. It says the, and this is always funny because I remember um, like even TV shows or even in school back in the days and when they used to refer to those skinny white girls, you like those skinny pencil uh, type bodies, right? When, the, when you had these fat, overweight women, they would look down upon the skinny woman. And this is what she's doing in the same article, right? That's what she refers to as, that's why she refers to her as skinny Adele. She's just basically utilizing, uh, a, she's trying to make skinny be being a negative this is to assign a value in any direction of course this is only now being brought up that adele has lost weight when adele was overweight and fat everybody applauded her just like what's her name um i forgot the name of that fat black girl that they always put on tv uh or in, in social media and she like she's always half naked out there and she's disgusting to look at but this is what they want individuals to imitate why because it's consumption and america is a consumer economy right so they want you to consume as much as you can because this is how they evaluate their gdp so people get rich based off of you getting fat whether it's in the hospital setting or pharmaceutical companies or clothing companies as you have to keep on buying clothes as you keep on growing wider and wider and wider and of course as you get sicker and sicker and sicker you come into the hospital right you get nurses like me to take care of you the doctor has to write you prescription for medication because you're a big boned and now you need to take insulin right because you're too overweight and out of shape and you can't do anything to uh, to make any changes this is why they're referring to, re referring to her in this way. It's kind of like a, you know, they're kind of like trying to insult her, but because they're feminist, they're trying to do it in a soft way. It says to assign any value. It says it is to um, is to over involve oneself in the dynamics of a stranger's body. It certainly seems like Adele herself will like us to stop commenting on her corporeal form. As she said in Vogue's November cover story, my body's been objectified my entire career. And it goes on to say, I said, I have been thinking about this all week. The thing is that Adele had her body type that is not really frequently represented in the world of mega celebrities that she occupies. And partly for the reason I think it's okay to be disappointed that adele lost a ton of weight and it's like what what these people are out of their mind and it's just because they want to celebrate i hear we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump right into it it says i i certainly am i don't need to explain to you that the world is very fat phobic to the extent that we're going up a size or two in jeans uh, as i have in the time since Adele's 21 rocketed to fame is a reasonably nerve wracking experience. If you manage to gain weight or and or exist in a fat body only in the side effect of a little anxiety. And of course, <laughs> this is the reason I'm fat because of anxiety. <laughs> this is you're doing pretty well. I'm using the word fat here, by the way, on purpose. You have a lot of people, especially in America, that are just lazy at the end of the day. America is rewarding individuals for being lazy, but unfortunately, nature has a different story for you. And this is why many of these individuals, 80% of all the people that were snatched away from the earth by this particular disease were people who were overweight and obese and, di and diabetic, high blood pressure, all these things that, that revolve around excess weight, excess eating. So as much as we want to pretend and uh, that, you know, fat phobia and that fat is beautiful. Nature has a different outcome for those individuals. And it just goes to show you that even even women, even women hate women more than men. And this is funny when you when you read articles like this from people who claim to be feminists or I'm, I'm pro women. And then once the women break away from the narrative, well, then they just can't wait to lose their minds and just 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 like. Nar narling, uh, what is it? Snarling at them, and it's just sad to see that women can't celebrate Adele for the weight loss, realizing that she is moving herself into a more healthier state where she's not at risk for high blood pressure, heart disease, COVID. Right? And these are important health decisions that she's made for herself. And if people applaud her, she looks much better than she did before. But for those who just don't want to lose the weight and want to be accepted as who they are. This is scathing to them. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you out next time.